Right. So you'll receive an email from our company that says getting ready for tax time. It'll indicate that we're using Intuit Linked to collect your tax info for this year. Please sign in and then we can get started. So it'll come to you in a nice email. You'll see our company name down here. We're using the ASAP CFO brand and then you'll click accept. So we'll go ahead and do that. Once you click accept, it'll bring you to a sign in screen. If you don't have an Intuit account already, you'll create an account. So you'll go ahead, add your email address, your phone number, a password, and then click create account. Once you've created an account, go ahead and type in your email address or password and click sign in. The Intuit link will then appear and it'll allow you to get started. Under the tax year and then the 2019 year, there's various items to be completed. Our engagement letter, which you'll sign, the questionnaire, the document checklist, and then any shared documents. We'll start with the engagement letter. This is our standard engagement letter, which goes over our policies and the way we conduct our tax returns. I strongly recommend reviewing over this and then typing in your name down here to accept. After you've accepted, click done. Once you've completed the engagement letter, you'll see done with a check mark next to it, indicating this has been completed. Next, move on to the questionnaire. These questions help us understand if any changes have occurred during the year. We'll go through each one of these questions and show you what to expect as you complete the questionnaire. Here it asks, what is your current address? You'll enter in your current address, and it's also helpful if you move during the year to put both addresses and the date that you had moved. This is important for completing your local tax return within the state of Pennsylvania. Did your marital status change before the end of last year? If you were married or got divorced during the year, you would select yes, and then describe it in the comments section depending on your answer. So if you were married over the past year, you would put married on 8-3-2019 and then post. Were there any changes in dependence? This would be if you had a child who was born or if any dependents are now claiming themselves, click yes, and then describe in the comments section any of the specific details. Did you have any child or dependency care expenses? This would be in the case where you have a child who is in daycare or somebody watching the child, you're able to use these expenses as a deduction on your taxes. Did you buy or sell stocks, mutual funds, bonds, or other investment properties? Here you can answer the question and then document as such. Did you make any donations of money, clothing, cars, or stock? You can click on there, detail it a little bit. I will mention that if you did donate anything to Goodwill or the Salvation Army, typically they'll give you a slip that'll indicate the date you donated and the items that you had donated as well. Additionally, they may provide you with a value and usually you should use some sort of source to reference the value of the item that you had donated. Did you incur any tuition or continuing education expenses? Many times this is for your dependent children, if they've incurred any education expenses, you'll want to answer accordingly and comment on here appropriately. We will have an area other than this section that you'll be able to attach the documents that are related to this. These tuition expenses can allow you to receive nice tax credits that'll help you get refunds on your tax return or count against your tax liability to reduce your expense. 
The next question, did you receive a distribution from or make a contribution to a retirement plan, 401k, IRA, etc.? Here you would indicate yes or no, and many times it's already included on your W-2. If it is not, we'd want to see that information so we can make sure it's appropriately reflected on your tax return. Next, did you and your dependents have health care coverage for the full year? Yes or no, and then you can describe on here. Many times, this is most important if you have the Obamacare or Marketplace insurance, we'll want to see that 1095A form, and also if you're self-employed, this can act as a deduction to your adjusted gross income. Next, did you receive any of the following IRS documents? 1095A, which we mentioned, 1095B, or Form 1095C. If so, please send, and you would attach this to the next area that we'll go over after going through the questionnaire. As we mentioned, 1095A is the marketplace health insurance that we need to report on your tax return. For direct deposit, please provide your bank name, routing number, and account number. If you've already provided this information in previous years, just indicate that it's the same as it was in the past. Do you want us to electronically file your tax return? Typically, the answer is yes on this, and it makes the processing of your taxes much easier. And then please list any questions or other concerns you might have. This is a good area to ask us any type of questions or prompt us to be able to follow up with you for any of your concerns. After saving, you'll click Done. It'll show you all the different questions that you'd answer, two out of 13 on that particular one. Next, the document checklist is where you'll be able to upload your various forms. Some people might have all their forms all in one PDF, which if that's the case, you'll be able to just click on the first link here, share a document, and then you can upload it right here. Once you've uploaded your file, it'll appear here and you'll actually be able to click on it to ensure that it's the appropriate file. You can also put comments about it as well. This particular area is specifically for your W-2 that you've received from your employer. But like I said, if all your items are in one PDF, you can just upload that right here. You can also add comments if you'd like. Scrolling down, you'll have various areas that you can upload the forms that do apply and go down from there. Many of these are used as a prompt to indicate to you what types of forms we would be looking for. The same way would apply for each one. Click share a document, click upload it, select your file from your computer, and then it'll appear just as it had before. And you can review each one. We'll just briefly go over these. The 1099 INT is for your interest. The 1099 DIV is for dividends and distributions from your financial institution. The 1099 comp is not a typical one that we receive, but you're able to upload that here from your financial institution. The W2G is for gambling winnings. And you also want to indicate if you have gambling losses as well. That can help you cancel out some of the income from the Pennsylvania side and also act as an itemized deduction on the federal tax return. Next, you'll upload your 1099-Rs, which relate to pension and retirements. Next, you'll be able to upload the RRB 1099 from the Railroad Retirement Board, if that applies. Please upload your SSA 1099 from the Social Security Administration if you are receiving Social Security. The next spot, you'll be able to upload your 1099 MISC from other income sources. Many self-employed individuals will receive that and be able to attach that here. If you've received a 1099Q from qualified education programs, you'll upload it here. For any sales of stocks or shares, you'll be able to upload your 1099B from the broker or barter exchange transactions. Here you'll be able to upload your K-1 from your partnerships, here for your S-Corps, here for your trusts and estates. Those are all for different K-1s that you'll receive 
from different types of entities. Here you can upload your 1098 from your bank or lender. This will indicate mortgage interest, mortgage insurance, and also student loan interest. And down here, you can upload the 1099G from the government. After uploading all the different files, you'll be able to click done. Additionally, if you have any spreadsheets for us or any other types of files that you need to upload, just go up under the W-2 section and then add that under there. So you'd be able to upload any other miscellaneous documents that you have in order to share with us. Next, under shared documents, it'll display all the different items that you've uploaded. You'll be able to review each one accordingly and see when it was updated and what type it was. After you've uploaded and answered your various questions, we will receive a notification that you are active within Intuit Link. After you're done within this screen, you'll be able to go ahead and click Sign Out. It'll bring you back to the login screen and you'll always be able to access the same information from the email that we had originally sent to you. So there you have it. You're able to upload various tax documents and complete the questionnaire in order to allow us to complete your taxes online and virtually through a secured network. Thanks.